Okay. So as you can see, we're at the same spot where we uh, basically have the network working, but we don't yet have this ability to keep the same network and run the diffusion again, right? If you hit go, it's not gonna work anymore because we have it stopping once the diffusion is full, right? So we wanna add a button that is gonna allow us to reset the diffusion without destroying the network, right? Um, so we're gonna move the graph down a little bit. And we're gonna add our button in right here. We'll call it reset diffusion. We haven't written the code for it yet, right? But we'll do that in a second. In fact, it yells at us because they're like, because that looks like you haven't written the code. So we have to go and write the code now, okay? So we go over here and, um, you know, I'm just gonna put it right here because it's kind of almost part of like the, somewhere between a go and a setup, right? So we'll put it here, we'll say to reset diffusion. Right, we'll give it a comment, right, reset the diffusion without destroying the network. I always write my end right away. So what do we need to do? Let's think about it. So what do we need to do to reset the diffusion, right? Well, currently all of our turtles have adopted to true when they we want not to have that. So we have to set adopted to false. And then we also have this color indicator, right? And so we want to send them back to the base state, and the base state is white, right? So let's set the let's do that first. So we can say ask turtles set adopted false. So this kind of turns off the adoption. And then to give us the same visual indicator, we're gonna set we're gonna set the color to white, right? So let's try that. If we hit interface and then hit setup and hit go, and then we can hit reset diffusion. And sure enough, it seems to work. So everything's going back, and then we hit go again. Oh, and then we realize, oh, wait a second. That's weird, because now, every time we're doing this, right, we're adding onto the plot. That, I mean, that's okay if that's what you want, but that's, you know, it's not really a good indication because really we want this plot to be just the single adoption. So we can go back to, um, we can go back to our original code over here, right? And we can basically add a command in that is going to clear the plots, right? And that command is clear all plots. And you could you can also do it for a particular plot. You don't have to do it for all the plots. So you could do it for the, just that plot. But because that's all the plots we have, it doesn't make much difference, right? So now if we hit setup, when we go, we hit reset the fusion, and we hit go again, right? And now every time we hit reset the fusion, it clears the plot. Right? So that's really simple, very easy way to kind of allow you to you know, and so one of the nice things about what you can do with this now, right, is I could hit setup, I can go, I can say, oh, it kind of looks like that, and then I can like modify the social influence, hit reset diffusion, hit go again, and kind of see how the social influence happens. So now it gets more of this concave shape, right? So maybe if I increase it the other way, right? Yeah, now it gets a little bit more convex, right? And so I can play around the same network with different parameter settings for the social influence, et cetera, and that kind of allows us to explore a little bit more about how, what's, what's relevant to the network versus what's relevant to the diffusion parameters. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here, and when I come back, I'm gonna talk about what I want you to do for model six, which I hinted at in the last one, but basically you know, adding in a more realistic network structure is the goal. Okay, for our model six, I wanna try and start building a model that has a little bit more realistic network structure. Uh, so you wanna, first of all, you're gonna need to add an interface element that allows you to create a chooser to choose different network structures. Uh, create a slider that maybe allows you to choose network density, which is how many friends on average does, a, does an individual have in the network. Um, and um, once you have those two, and once you've implemented the code to generate the networks, you'll have completed model six. Um, now, that is a, this is a bigger jump than some of the previous model additions have been. Uh, so if you want a little bit of hint uh, as to how you might do this, I highly recommend looking into the network extension, uh, and that's the way I'm gonna be doing it. Uh, and if you just uh, Google net, on, um, on uh, NetLogo network extension, uh, you'll find it. Uh, but in a second, I'll pull it up and show you a little bit of the description of it, okay? So as promised, here we have the 
uh, net logo network extension, the NW extension. Um, and you'll see that, you know, um, you have to set up a, a um, you have to specify what network you want to work with. We're going to just be working with the standard links, right? Uh, but, you know, there are other ways to do this. And so um, uh, you could add in, for instance, you could have, you know, friendships, accounts, etc. Um, and then a lot of times you have to set a context uh, and then you have to actually create kind of the, the network connections between the different um, turtles, right? And there's a bunch of different ways to do this, preferential attachment, random, watch Strograts or small world, right? Uh, and these are related to each other, but slightly different in terms of the way they work, right? Um, and you can also do things like find out um, uh, paths between agents, right? Um, how, how close one is to another. You can compute things like communities. Um, you can import and export actual networks written in other software. You can compute the centrality of various uh, network nodes, and you can compute clustering coefficients, right? Um, so it's a very powerful tool. Um, if you're really interested in networks, I highly recommend just spending some time reading through all these different commands, because uh, you know some of them you're probably familiar with, just or can guess as to what they're gonna do, but some of them might be new and novel to you. So I, I highly recommend spending some time if you really wanna dive into networks uh, with uh, this particular document, which by the way, is it ccl.northwestern.edu slash netlogo slash docs slash nw.html. But if you just Google netlogo network extension, it will also show up pretty quickly there as well. Okay, see you in a little bit.